Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, it is Thursday, 2024. Uh, it is May, and I believe it is the 9th, if I'm not mistaken. So, actually the sun's cranking out right now. Uh, we were supposed to get all this rain today, never materialized, which is okay. Uh, we'll go take a look at what the solar's doing. Cl mostly cloudy for part most of the day. So we'll take a look here and I'll show you guys this real quick. So, but, uh, and the sun's out right at the moment, which is a good thing. We'll take that. Give you a moment, we'll look and see where this is at. <sighs> but not a bad day. Temperature-wise, it's uh, been very good as well. Okay, so batteries are sitting at 86% and charging. So that is a good thing. Not bad at all. Uh, I don't know how low it went down overnight. Yesterday was more clouds and rain than... Uh, than sunshine, so uh, to be at 86%, I am not unhappy about that at all. I gotta get out here and get this grass going again. <laughs> it grows very, very fast, unfortunately, this time of year. So I uh, went out and I watered and refed the chickens, so they're doing good. Uh, five eggs today, and yes, for uh, Miss Betty White, she did lay, so, uh, so that is good. So I wanna talk to you guys Where'd you go? She was all happy to get back outside. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys. Oh, there she comes. There she is. There's the princess. Uh, I want to talk to you about the uh, solar flares. Uh, if you guys, anybody watches Suspicious Observer, uh, there are four solar flares headed towards Earth right now. Uh, possibility that something you know it could be something major there's like a I believe a 10% chance that it could be a Carrington type event it definitely will be disrupting things that's what they're saying anyway so we'll have to see uh, where all that is at got to see I'm trying to figure out exactly where the water is in here I can't really tell. Um, it's not completely full yet, but it's almost, it's, it's pretty high up there. Um, if I push, yeah, see if down here, you can tell that there's got water. There's some play there. So actually, if I can feel it, it feels like the water is to here uh, with the tank, which would be right around 250 gallons. So that is not a bad thing at all. Um, I did play around a little bit and put some water um, into this tank. Just And I was just using a five-gallon bucket to do that. And uh, so that's uh, what I did there. Uh, I was going to get a hose, and I still haven't gotten a hose. And, you know, what are you going to do? It's just one of those deals. But uh, I will be getting out and getting a hose and everything. I know this cloud is going to come block the sun for a minute. But anyway... Um, the solar flares are heading towards Earth. Uh, could be dangerous. It definitely could disrupt satellites uh, and the like of that. But uh, if it was, uh, you know, there's, the, like I said, about a 10% possibility that it could also be a Carrington type of event, which would mean we would all, the entire planet basically, would go uh, into the 1800s overnight. And uh, again, most people are not prepared to deal with that or don't know what to do um, in that type of situation or how they would survive or anything else. So it's definitely uh, something to be paying attention to. Now, do I say, oh my God, the end of the world is coming. I mean, it's not what I'm saying. Uh, I'm, what I'm saying is that we need to be vigilant, pay attention to what is going on and what we need to do to take care of our business. So that's important. That is important, but uh, yeah, the leaves and the trees are really filled out now. Looks beautiful. Absolutely love this time of year. Now you can't even see Mark's cabin anymore at all, <laughs> so that's you know that's good. And Rob's is pretty tucked in there as well. 
uh, as those trees continue to mature and grow, you know, that'll offer him more coverage that way as well. So, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. So, but anyway, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, do you believe that we should be concerned about these solar flares? Um, you know, I think there's always things that have the potential to be game changers. All right. I really do believe that, that those things are out there. But what we need to do is just, you know, pay attention to it. Don't live in fear. Be as prepared as we can be. Control what you can control. Uh, I think that is the important way of dealing with these types of situations. I just wanted to show you guys uh, how the cherries are looking. Lots and lots and lots of cherries uh, on this tree here. A lot of cherries. So really super psyched uh, about that. Cherries all over the place, so that's a good thing. Now this one here has some, but not very many. So you can see one there, there's one there, a couple more. You know, this one does not have a, a lot of cherries. Now this tree over here, uh, it has quite a few as well. Uh, that first tree has the most though, but this one is not bad. Um, I'm not going to complain about the number of cherries on this tree. So, not a bad thing. So anyway, uh, looking forward, this is our weekend get together. Hopefully this video goes up on time. If you see this video at seven o'clock, then you'll know it went up in a timely manner because it's about 10 after five right now, which normally would be more than enough time to get this video up um, on time, but we will see what happens with that. So anyway, guys, I am gonna jump off of here for now. Uh, definitely keep an eye on the solar flares, see what happens with that. Uh, you know, possible disruptions, possibly a Carrington event type of thing could happen. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to, but uh, definitely need to stay vigilant on those type of things. Remember, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we figure that one out, we're going to be in much, much better shape. We have to stop letting them divide us using race, religion, political affiliation. That is all nonsense. It means absolutely nothing. We have to come together as human beings. Also remember, guys, to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is going to be you. That's it, nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great night, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.